Hey guys, so I got a great question in YouTube recently. It's saying, what do you suggest if I've made an error in CSS or HTML and I do not have a saved copy? For example, my header and footer are no longer visible. So you've made some code changes to your theme and you've accidentally broken something. And unfortunately, you did not make a backup by duplicating your theme, which is something you should always do. Um, but I mean, personally, I don't because I know exactly how to fix those things. I know how to go back, how to undo those changes or restore that file usually. In this video, I'll tell you a few methods and what steps you should take now that you've broken your theme. How can you get it back as soon as possible, right? So let's begin. As you can see, my header is pink. Uh, and let's imagine that that's some kind of mistake that I've made. That's a coding error, that's a bug that now I need to track down. And I don't even remember which file it's in and when I made that change, but you know, for some reason, my header is pink and now I have to fix that. So first of all, feature that you might not have noticed is that in Shopify, when you look at this sidebar, you see these black dots here, that's files that have changed. That's files that um, where the code is different from what was in the theme originally when you purchased the theme or when you when you got a fresh copy of that theme. And you might notice that there are a lot here and you're thinking, wait, I didn't make that many code changes. Uh, and that's true. You didn't. These JSON files, you can totally ignore them because all they do is they store your theme settings. So these files, they, they automatically change um, every time you change something inside your theme settings. So you see, I got Shopify SEO tutorials on my homepage here, index.json that stores your settings for the homepage. And here we see Shopify SEO tutorials. Okay, so let's totally ignore those JSON files. And what you're looking at is liquid files so just filter by liquid and now you'll only be seeing liquid files. These are files that, you know, you've actually changed yourself or possibly an app that you installed has changed that file, which is common with the theme.liquid file mainly. Looking down here, we have some files that were added. An app might add these files. In this case, I added these sections myself, but for you, especially if you're using page builders, you'll see uh, files like dot shogun dot liquid dot page fly dot liquid or something like that. Uh, so you can ignore those. I, I doubt you were making code changes on those files as well. Any files that were added by apps. And here we have header dot liquid and simply judging by the name, we can guess that this is likely the culprit for, you know, my pink header. So let's open up the header and see what we can do here. Another little feature of Shopify that is very useful is this recent changes dropdown. This is like a very basic version control that is built into Shopify. So click on this dropdown and you can see the various changes that were made to this theme and what time and date they were made. So a more complete example would be my theme.liquid. You see at, at various dates and times I made these different changes. And then we have the original as well. Okay, the, the original file that was part of the, the theme. And the simplest thing you can do if you really didn't make many changes that you want to keep, uh, if you just want to go back to the original and get your site fixed ASAP, like especially if this is on a live theme, um, then you might just want to go back to the original, hit save and your issue should be fixed if this was the correct file. Okay, so another thing you can do is, so you have the current version and you have the version before that. So you can simply click on that and save to sort of undo, to go back one step. However, be careful with this because anytime you make any change, even let's say I added a space here and I clicked save, it's gonna create another version. It's gonna create a version four. So let's do that. And you see there's a version four. And so you're not actually sure how many minor changes you might've made, like how many steps you have to go back, how many times you have to undo. And it gets very confusing because every time that you undo, let's go back to this one, right? If we go back to this one and save, it doesn't go back to version three. It creates a version five, which is the same as version three. Anyway, this might have been a bad example because there aren't that many changes on this particular file. But 
you might have made changes throughout the months, throughout the years, like this one, and you're not sure which version to go back to because you made several rounds of changes that you want to keep. Let's say you want to you don't want to go back to the original, you want to keep something done around here, but then the bug might have been around here. You're not sure which one it is. So then what do you do? Well, there is a way that you can compare the original and the current versions and see all of the code changes that were made. Okay, and I'll show you that right now. So there's this tool called diff checker, just go to diffchecker.com or just Google it. And it's a mostly free tool or freemium. Uh, but basically, it lets you compare two pieces of text, usually code, right? So let me demonstrate this with theme.liquid. We're going to highlight everything, copy, and paste this into the change text, because this is like before and after, right? This is the current version would be the after. Uh, and we can go back to the original. Don't save, just go back to look at it and copy and paste that into the original text and find difference. And so what we see here is it's highlighted the lines that have changed in green and then in red any lines that might have been uh, deleted. The thing to keep in mind here is we don't know when these changes were made. So here at some point I added the uh, verification meta tag for Google Search Console. Um, then possibly a, a different day, I mean definitely a different day I installed tiny image uh, SEO app and it's uh, modified this line like so. But the important thing is that you are able to see exactly the differences between the current and the original version of this file. You are able to see all of the code changes that have been made and that's incredibly useful. And in fact, this might be all you need. You might come down here and see that on a change that you made yourself manually, you simply left out uh, a curly brace or a percentage sign or something like that. The, the green will help you notice that, um, you know, you're not just looking through the entire file, you're looking at the exact lines you changed, you'll notice whatever error you made, and then you go back into your file and you simply change that in the current version that is. Okay, but my example is pretty simple. Let's go back to my uh, my header.liquid and I'm going to grab the current version, put it here, grab the uh, original and put it in the original and see which addition was made. And when I scroll down, I see, oh no, there it is, the line making the background of my header hot pink. Who would do such a thing? Um, and so all I need to do now is find that line use the line number guys 108 it's going to be the same you, you pay attention to line, num uh, line numbers in code you see i'm i'm on the original version now which is why i don't see it uh, remember to switch back to the current one so line 108 and there we go so i'm just going to delete that line and save and again that creates a new version but now if i refresh my theme the header should no longer be pink Okay, so everything I've been saying so far, you might not really be able to relate because you are not able to see the recent changes. You don't have any of this history on your theme for whatever reason. And actually, not for whatever reason. The reason is probably that you're working on a duplicate. People create duplicates for many different reasons, not just because of uh, code changes, but sales and promotions and you know, the Christmas version of their theme or different seasons. So let me show you an example. Here I have this theme called Dawn 12. I just created a copy. And when we go into the code editor for this, for the copy of this theme, and by the way, I brought back the, the pink background bug. Uh, so don't be surprised by that. But if we go into the code editor for the copy of that theme, there are no code changes, you see, there are no black dots and, and we have no indication that there have been any changes, even though when we search this for hot pink, uh, we see that that bug is still there, that, that code is still there, right? But no recent changes, it doesn't have any history because it's a copy, it's a clone, right? Um, <laughs> imagine like someone clones you and you have your memories, but your clone doesn't have your memories unless they somehow 
have the technology to, to put your memories into the clone's brain. Um, that might be a creepy example, but you get what I'm saying, right? This version of your theme, the copy of Dawn 12, does not have history. So what do you do in this case? In this case, you're not able to move back one step and you're not even able to revert to the original at all. Instead, you need to find a fresh copy of your theme so that you at least have the original and then you can maybe use diff checker to see what changes were made to actually compare or if you don't care about keeping those changes, then you can simply grab the header.liquid from the fresh copy of your theme and just paste it over here, okay? And that should fix your bug. But you do need to get a fresh copy of the same version. So as you might have noticed, I've been working on Dawn version 12, which is almost a year old now, and we're up to Dawn version 15. Here is the latest version, which I just downloaded. And that's really the problem, that if you just go to download Dawn again, you'll be getting version 15. But you need version 12, because if you try to use the header.liquid from Dawn version 15 and then paste it into Dawn version 12, it might not work. It simply might not be compatible. I mean, it might work, maybe, but you don't know what kind of bugs you could create. So preferably, you need to get Dawn version 12. Luckily for you, if you're using Dawn or if you're using any of the free Shopify themes, which are all the same as Dawn, by the way, it's the same code. And luckily it's open source. It's um, freely available to download. So simply look up GitHub Dawn and you'll find Shopify's GitHub account with Dawn and go down here, click on the, the branches and then click on tags and you'll find every version. So if you need version 12, click on version 12 and this is switch um, you know, you'll see this refresh. So now we're looking at the files of Dawn version 12. And all you need to do is download a zip and you'll be downloading a zip of Dawn version 12. And that's the same thing that you need for any of the Dawn based themes. That is all of Shopify's free themes, not just the ones I'm showing you here, but rather it's all of these themes here. Okay, that's all Dawn. If you're using a premium theme, then the same story, only you won't be able to get it publicly, obviously, on GitHub. Instead, you'll just need to email the theme development company, you know, out of the sandbox, Pixel Union, Clean Canvas, you know, wherever you bought the theme, and just ask them, hey guys, I need this exact version of your theme, and I guarantee that they'll have it. And they'll just be able to send you the zip as long as you can provide proof that you purchased the theme. And finally, if you really can't track down the bug and fix it on your own, then you probably need the help of a developer. A developer will have tools and methods of comparing your theme and finding bugs that are much more professional than diff checker. You know, they'll be able to track it down much more effectively. And so the company I recommend is Hey Carson, if you're looking for a quick turnaround, because they actually have this express service, which is for a tighter deadline or, you know, an urgent issue. If you go with these guys, I'll really appreciate if you can use my link, which you'll find in the video description. Okay, and one last tip for next time, if you don't want this to happen again, make sure that you duplicate your theme for a backup before making any code changes. And how do you use that backup? Well, make sure you don't just publish that backup theme if you mess up your this theme. I know it, it might be easier, but that causes some problems because as I showed you earlier, this duplicate theme does not have history, right? So I think it's preferable to actually use that backup theme as a, a repository of code. So you can go into that backup and grab whatever code you need, whatever file you need that you just edited, and then go into your main theme and replace that file. Okay, that will be a much safer way of restoring from a backup rather than publishing uh, a duplicated theme. So that's all. That video went much longer than I expected, um, but a lot of information that I hope you'll find helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more such videos. See you next time.